There are many reasons why recycling is essential. Not only can it help to reduce your carbon footprint, but it also helps reduce the need for harvesting raw materials, saves energy, reduces greenhouse gases, and prevents pollution. This morning, we share a few practical tips on how to recycle the very basic items in and around your home. Plastic bottles. While throwing plastic bottles in the recycling bin is a good start, plastic water bottles can be used for a variety of purposes. If you're a gardener, cutting off the bottoms of plastic bottles creates fantastic planters for seedlings. You can also turn them into piggy banks for your kids. Empty ice cream containers. Empty ice cream containers can be quite useful around the home. The empty container can be rinsed out and used to store anything and everything. You can store small tools and craft items or use the container to collect coffee grounds and food scraps before adding them to your compost tape. Junk mail. Why throw out your mail? Collect return envelopes and use address labels and stamps in order to send your own mail. You can also use the envelopes for storage. Think small things like seeds, screws, etc. Or shred them to mulch your own garden. Unused keys. Over time, we all accumulate a large number of random, no longer used keys. Don't toss them out. Use them for craft projects. Keys make cool jewelry and can be used to make unique necklaces and earrings. Old contact lenses. Similar to old lip balm containers, you can clean old contact lens cases and fill them with small amounts of makeup, lotion, cleansers, and assorted cosmetics that you like to take with you when you travel. And finally, toothbrush and toothpaste tubes. Save and use old toothbrushes to scrub hard to reach places or other delicate or hard to clean items like grout and underneath the fixtures on faucets. Clean old toothbrushes and reuse as eyebrow brushes, hair color applicators, or cleaning tools and electronics. Empty toothpaste tubes can be repurposed as a funnel by cutting off the bottom or as a frosting tube for icing cakes. Those were some practical examples of how you can reuse items from around your home. So don't just throw it out, recycle. All right, a few practical tips there about how to recycle items found in your home. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Magic words, right? Okay, um, I think it's your turn. Well, apparently in an effort to completely eradicate plastic from our environment, uh, the Minister of Economic Growth and Job Creation launched their Plastic Free Summer Campaign. And with us, as we told you before the break, to share the details is the uh, Minister of Economic Growth and Job Creation, um, Minister Without Portfolio, Senator, um, Matthew Samuda, morning, sir. Welcome to Smart Jamaica. How are you? Morning, Neville. Morning, Simon, and morning to you viewers. Mm -hmm. How are you, sir? Good, too. Uh, I'm good. good Speaking to be here. Of, of reduce and reusing and recycling, we're not really reusing it, but can we give the can we give the viewing public a kind of history of your history sure. with Smile? Sure. Yes. Go on now. You do so, it. I used to have to wake up very early to come to come here to um, give Simone a, a hard time. I don't know that. At that time, you had Jackie Hartman and, and Scott Wilson <laughs> as part of the production team. I was Simone's production assistant. So I was actually here when, um, I think, Bertis's first day on the program when Simon would have still been, yeah. been um, with the station. And the, the studio wasn't this nice then, but, you know, it's come a, it's come a <laughs> long way. So for me, I, keep, I catch myself looking around like, wow, this is yeah. just not what we grew up with, you know. But it's, it's good to see. It's a phenomenal program. And, you know, happy that I would have... Um, Played a small role yeah. in its development. And after all that, I'm disappointed, yeah. sir. You end up in plastic. Oh, what a disaster you might have. <laughs> what an unmitigated <laughs> disaster. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> well, the student has come a long way, and so have you. Yep. Thanks. Where are we with that now? Because I, I know you spearheaded all of this a couple of years ago, um, and some people bought into it immediately. Some people say, well, Ray, 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 and all kinds of stuff. Where are we with it now before we get to the summer program? So, plastics. Um, very helpful, very harmful. Plastics has helped food health significantly because of the nature of packaging, how light, how cheap it is. So it helps us to keep our food healthy and packaged in a way that makes it safe and helps it to last longer, which is very important. So we won't totally eradicate plastics. But 
similarly, because it is so cheap, light, and easy to, to produce and access, we have produced way too much of it, and we got way too comfortable with it, and we've created way more plastic and put it into the environment in a way that we shouldn't have. Um, Jamaica is no exception from that. The, the United Nations mm -hmm. Environmental Programme lists it as one pillar of the triple planetary crisis. Triple planetary crisis is climate change, biodiversity loss, and plastic pollution. Wow, that's, that's plastic how, is up there in the top yes. three. So you have a massive issue with the disposal of, of plastic, and Jamaica is no exception. In Jamaica, about 15% of our waste stream is plastic. Large the elephant in the room is the issue of the plastic bottle. But in 2018, Jamaica started the process of dealing with other issues, other plastics that we felt were easier to phase out of our system. So Jamaica banned, I think, as at January, 20, January 1, 2019, plastic bags, um, foam containers and plastic straws. Um, mm -hmm. It was a long period and you know we went back and forth on it for about two, three years in terms of getting society ready for that. And it's um, certainly not a perfect policy, but it has resulted in thousands of metric tons reduction of plastic within our waste stream. We're onto the new phase now, but even as we enter the new phase, um, we have to reflect and see what has worked, what, what hasn't worked. Um, there have been some great successes, and I think in recent times we've had some challenges, certainly with bugs starting to creep back in into to some of our market districts. And on the, the back of that, in trying to remind people why we did this, um, the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation launched its Plastic Free Summer. So throughout the entire summer, the team at Megjek and Nepa have been going into the market districts with reusable bags, um, doing the sort of retail conversation that you need to do to remind people why why this is there, and we've had some, some successes. But even on the other side, where you've tried to have the conversation and you haven't got the support that you want in particular districts, we've gone out and we've um, had to enforce. So we have over 40 cases in the courts now for those who have insisted that they will um, continue attempting to breach the process. But How do the bags come back in? Um, largely, we believe they come in through the ports in mixed grocery containers. Ah. So a box of plastic bags is a very small thing, yeah. but it's a lot of plastic in in, in that space. We've, we've largely won the war with straws, we've largely won the war with, with foam containers. All of the data that you get from your varying cleanups and, and your landfills suggests that you've won that war. And for the most part, with single-use plastic bags, you've won that, that war. But we're entering a new phase now, and as a part of what Jamaica has agreed to under what's dubbed UNIA 5.2, which is an agreement to create an international negotiating committee to build a treaty similar to the Paris Agreement but on plastics. So Jamaica doesn't want to be caught flat-footed when that agreement is ultimately signed. We have a sense of where the global community is, is going. So we want to maintain moral and, and tangible leadership in this area. So we will be f entering phase two, I would say, in, in our um, fight against the misuse of plastics. We talk about single use, which sure. is the key phrase, Absolutely. right? Because you have plastics that you can use over and over that are not as not detrimental, right? So, so, so is it that we're not employing those methods? Um, and tell us, not in real terms, Minister, in Senator, in real terms, uh, what, those, what those look like, what those are. For example, I know some of the water bottles, you can look at the bottom and there's sure. an indication that tells you whether this is something that is single use and you must throw it away, or if you can take it home and refill and use it over and over again. So, largely it's what is used for that determines whether it's single use or or, or um, multiple use. So even pet bottles oh, can be... pet bottles? That's a typical plastic bottle that you'd, you'd, you'd consume your, your beverage. Right. In. Those, you have pet bottles which are reusable. They tend to be thicker. They tend to be wider at the, the, the top so they can be sterilized after use so that you're able to wash them and, and reuse them. The single-use bottles are really because they're just really how they're designed and what you package in them. So a, a, a soda bottle or a water bottle, you're not, you're not going to reuse that because it's too hard to wash, it's, it's difficult, it's, the utility of it doesn't allow for, for second use. So there are a series of things we're, we're going to be, be doing. Um, you'd be familiar with what Recycling Partners started and I want to acknowledge that the manufacturers have made a serious step in saying we acknowledge that there's a problem and that we're a part of it, we're going to make um, some steps. The government, however, doesn't think that the effort and the result is sufficient to tackle the problem. And that's obvious. You can drive anywhere and see the bottles pile up. So the government is working on what's called a deposit refund scheme. Mm -hmm. And that will be backed by legislation. 
This will force you in the way that we would have all grown up with glass bottles where you pay a deposit and you get it back when you bring it in. So that will reduce the pressure on the, um, on the waste management system and those will go to recyclers. So you'll then have a circular economy developed where the bottles don't become single use because they're then put back through a process of recycling and, um, and then reuse. But ultimately this is going to be important for our manufacturers because we believe under this treaty it's going to become increasingly difficult for our manufacturers to access the raw materials if they can't prove recycling above a particular percentage point. Senator, I went to Germany back in 1999, that long ago, and I saw these garbage bins, and yes. they've, they've all divided in, you know, so plastic bottles over here, paper Separation over here. of waste. Yeah, so, but I, I don't see, I see in some schools, to be fair, I've, I've seen that in some schools, but I don't see that often enough. Isn't that one of the, the issues that you just like throw all of the garbage in the same yeah. spot? That, that's a pillar of modern waste management that Jamaica hasn't taken on, but I haven't that, invested. That, that's the reason I said from 1999. That's the reason yeah. I, I said... And it's impatient to debate that we are way behind where we should be in, in how we manage our Even waste. though there are some entities that are trying their Absolutely. best. Absolutely. I know GK yeah. is doing a lot in that area. Um, other, orga we think other organizations are trying to get the recycling and the separation of waste as the, a thing, but the, we need to kind of buy into it more the, as a nation. The state, a problem. being a private sector, yeah. government needs to have a, a greening policy yeah. and a greening investment. Um, just like Neville's jacket, we, we, need yes. to, we need to move into the 21st century to ensure that we embrace these practices. Some of the things we're going to be doing within our public spaces, we will be um, taking on the separation of waste over time. The Prime Minister gave a hint in terms of the plans for Riverton in terms of its closure, and there'll be a full rollout of a modern strategy for waste management, and this will be a part of that. The issue with plastics, though, is a, is a little different, because there are some plastics that we shouldn't be using. And we will be taking aim at those this year. Um, microplastics in your personal care products. So your soaps with your little plastic beads, those are deleterious and damaging to the environment. They're damaging to human health. We'll be cutting that out from the point of importation and production. So microplastics have to go. Okay. Um, the Bureau of Standards, which will come out at our forum, which I will mentioned before we close, they, they've launched and gazetted standards of biodegradability. So with our ban, one of the issues that came up is you started seeing products come in that said they're biodegradable. How do you know? They've now developed the standards and the capacity to test these products to say, this is indeed biodegradable by Jamaica's standards and should and shouldn't be in the environment. Mm -hmm. So we're working from that perspective. I mentioned the deposit refund scheme for plastics. We're also developing a full policy framework to be able to manage this material. Because it's not going anywhere globally. You, you, people say, why don't switch to glass? Well, globally, there's not enough glass. And the, the, the production rejig in a hyperinflation environment globally is also not why don't switch to Tetra Pak or why don't switch to, right? E it's a major a, paradigm shift. It's major paradigm and, and some of those ma other materials come with their own yes. concerns as well. Plastic bottles, if you could capture all of them and reuse them and recycle them, it wouldn't be the issue. Tetra Pak, you can't necessarily recycle in that right. sort of manner. So right. each, each material and its overuse can become a problem. We're getting the wrap, but we did the forum is when? The forum is on Tuesday. It's Plastics in the multipurpose room at the Bureau of Standards at 9 a.m. on Tuesday. It is going to highlight all that society needs to know about plastics. We encourage the private sector in particular to participate because they need to understand the standards of biodegradability and where we're going so that they can plan their investments accordingly to ensure we all have a clean on Jamaica. Good to see you, sir. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Um, uh, Minister of Economic Growth and Job Creation, Senator um, Matthew Samuda. Take care, sir. God bless you. Coming up next, we're talking census. Census 2022. Stay with us, please. We'll be right back. <laughs>